We live in sort of an ever evolving, changing world. Uh, you know, population density and urbanization is going up and up and up. So our old systems and our old ways of doing things doesn't work anymore. Civil engineers are constantly faced with new challenges. How do we house all these people? How do we get water to all these people? How do we still develop and create these massive cities while still having a low impact on the environment? My name is Lisa Tober, and I'm a third year PhD student here at UBC in earthquake structural engineering. Right now we're in the structures lab. This is where when we come up with a new theory or a new technology or a new component, we bring it here and test it. What earthquake engineering to me is to engineer structure against earthquake loads. My name is Dorian Tang. I'm studying earthquake engineering. Earthquake engineering for me is different from structural engineers or, or, or material engineering because it involves computer programming, probabilistic analysis, earth science. Within civil engineering, on one end of the spectrum is structural engineering being design, construction of, of large, exciting infrastructure. Uh, that's one part of civil engineering. It's a very important part of civil engineering, but there are many other very different aspects. So I'm Perry Adabar, professor and head, Department of Civil Engineering. Transportation engineering deals with simulation, computer simulation. Geotechnical engineering is, is about engineering with the earth and the soil. And, and designing foundations for structures. Then there is materials engineering, dealing with concrete, steel, or timber are the main materials. Another very important discipline is construction and project management, which is really overlaps enormously with business. Environmental engineering on the other end of the spectrum is more about chemistry and biology. The sustainability component of environmental engineering is the idea that the processes that we design and the ways that we solve the environmental problems that we have, they need to be solutions that we can, we can keep using for years to come or that, that we won't regret when we look back on them. My name is Shona Robinson and I'm a PhD candidate in the Pollution Control and Waste Management Group and that's a part of the environmental engineering program. Uh, my particular project is dealing with membranes, which are a technology that we use to treat drinking water. And so I'm trying to make these membranes last for as long as possible and make sure we get the safest water for our buck. My name is Salman Soleimani. I'm a PhD candidate here. Where you can do what I'm doing actually, which is a multidisciplinary uh, expertise. So you can specialize in more than one aspect. Uh, earthquake engineering, structural engineering, as well as construction materials because some of these items are so correlated. There's flexibility. You can focus on water and at the same time geotechnical. My name is Shara and I'm a third year civil engineering student and I am the Civil Engineering Club president. One thing I would tell you is to be involved. I think that helps you discover what a real engineer is going to be, not just from a textbook or inside a classroom. There's tons of clubs that are specific to engineering, and the more you get involved, the more you'll get out of the experience. My name is Adam Sylvester. I'm in geotechnical engineering. The most exciting thing about geotechnical engineering is the uncertainty that you deal with. There's no step-by-step -step guidebook. I enjoy problem solving, um, and I enjoy working in a team. Uh, I enjoy using logic and reasoning to, to figure out a problem. I never thought I'd be uh, computer programming, but I'm, I'm programming new softwares as well as designing new structures. You're having, constantly having to change and evolve. It's what keeps me interested in civil engineering.